Today we're gonna talk about Time Tree, a Blender add-on that will help you speed up your workflow in a simple and easy way. It actually provides a new way of combining shots and scenes, as well as a different way of dealing with shot sequences using nodes instead of the traditional linear timeline. To combine all shots from different scenes in Blender, you must render them separately and then bring each render into Blender's video editing workspace, which is tedious and takes a lot of time to render. Instead, you can use the Time Tree add-on to combine all the shots without rendering them. Now, let's take a look at some of its key features. Time Tree allows you to select any scene and camera for a specific shot. Also change the speed and duration to create slow motion and fast motion in addition to keeping your sound synchronized and exporting everything automatically to the video sequence editor among other things. After installing the add-on you can notice a new workspace called Time Tree in the Add Workspace icon. Once you enter the Time Tree workspace you will be able to add a new node tree where you will be working. You can now add nodes, then select view and move them. There will be four nodes available for you to use, and these are shot, sound, switch, and join. After you added one of them, you'll notice that it has its own set of settings for you to experiment with. The shot node will manage the sequence that you want with the scene, camera, and duration that you want. You will also see a previous socket where you plug the previous shot, and a next socket or you plug the next shot. In addition to a sound socket where you're gonna join the next node that we're gonna talk about and it is the sound node. Once you add this node, you'll be able to add the sound that you want to the shot and you can set the start and the end frame. Now, the other two nodes are the switch, which is used to switch between two shots at the same time, and the join node, which is used to join two shots at the same time. The best thing about this add-on is that it is very easy to use, fast and efficient because it only has 4 nodes, where you can replace the boring editing process of 30 minutes or so by just using simple nodes This will speed up the workflow. As we said, overall this add-on is very useful, especially for those who have a large number of scenes and shots and struggle with rendering them. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this quick video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.